Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to local music, wherever it may be. I'm Josh, and we're once again back in the downtown Las Vegas Arts District at Local Hotspot 18 Bin for another songwriter showcase hosted by Hal Savar. With both an outdoor dining area and full-on stage, as well as an inside bar with a smaller stage, 18 Bin has a lot going on for it. You owe it to yourself to drop in if you're in the area. This one promised to be a good one, so let's all jump in and head downtown to the Room 6 Mobile! This video is brought to you by Nimble. We'll hear more about them later, but for now, let's get on to today's video. Before the review, a quick note. If you'd like to be featured on a future showcase, contact Hal Sabar using his social media handle that I've put down in the description. That's also where you'll find all the social media handles for all the acts featured in this video. If you'd like to be featured on Room 6, hit me up using my email address or the Room 6 social media link down below as well. While you're down there, Feel free to like, share, and subscribe to help me grow the channel and its support of local music. Thanks! Opening up the show was J.W. Reynolds, someone I recently interviewed on the channel. Make sure you subscribe so you can stay tuned for that and more. Once again utilizing his pedals for both vocal and guitar effects to great effect, J.W. and his 12-string combined folk-based music with tongue-in-cheek lyrics that make you question whether you really heard what you thought you just heard. He was a great way to open things up and a promise of great things to come. After JW was Crystal Jewel, a relatively new face to the showcase, but no stranger to the stage. Pouring her whole heart into her music, Crystal's set of music was upbeat and earnest, with songs about love and loss and everything in between. She's also part of a duo known as Roadside Honey, and whether solo or with someone else on stage, she's a treat to watch perform. Up next was a longtime friend of the channel and the showcase, Johnny Fab. Epitomizing Vegas Lounge Lizard vibes, Johnny's sound is fun and quirky, but rooted in the piano masters of old Vegas. Joined on stage by his wife, Pam Hawkins, and backup singer Indra Jones, the trio proceeded to put on a masterclass in how to work a crowd with humor and comedic timing. With clever lyrics and overwhelming talent, Johnny's a hoot to listen to, and you owe it to yourself to catch him live if you get the chance. Coming up next was Nicholas Morgan, who managed to talk Johnny Fab into sticking around to join in. Nicholas brings a soft but strong atmosphere to the stage with his music. The addition of Johnny's keyboard mastery gave his music another depth of musicality that blew us all away, especially considering the dynamic duo hadn't practiced this at all. Blending a little crooning with his laconic guitar playing, everyone present was lulled into a dreamlike state we were sad to see end. And now, a word from our sponsors. Thanks Josh from the past. You know, the Earth is pretty great. Humans and their technology, on the other hand, not so much. We've kind of treated it a little poorly. I do believe I'm on fire. Now, obviously, I'm a big fan of technology and innovation. That being said, is there a way to have my tech and protect the Earth at the same time? Yep, it's called Nimble, and it's awesome. Nimble is a computer tech brand committed to creating high-quality, eco-friendly tech products at lower costs. They offer wireless charging products, 18-watt USB Type-C portable chargers, personal device protective cases, cables, and more. All made from plant-based bioplastics, fabric made from 100% organic hemp and recycled PET from plastic bottles, recyclable aluminum, and zero paints or toxic substances. Nimble's plastic-free packaging is 100% recycled scrap paper with no harmful inks, adhesives, or dyes, making it 100% compostable. To accomplish all of this, Nimble focuses on beautiful design and leading performance, using sustainable materials for products and packaging, holding suppliers to strict guidelines, providing transparency around production and pricing, and addressing the growing problem of electronic waste through a recycling initiative tied to the purchase of every product. They're awesome, and they're going to help the planet. Just for watching this video and for being part of Room 6, you can use my affiliate link down in the description to get 10% off your entire order. Just enter the coupon code CHARGE10 at checkout. Plus, you'll be helping out the channel. Thanks to Nimble for being a sponsor, and let's get back to the show. Up next on stage was another showcase favorite in the form of Chasmus. Known for powerhouse vocals laid over dynamic chord changes and tempo changes, Chasmus is guaranteed to get your feet tapping and 
your voice singing along with his catchy, earworm-filled tunes. Like some of this video's featured performers, he's an act I'm working hard on getting on the channel for an interview and a performance right here in Room 6. Here's hoping that that happens soon. From one showcase powerhouse to another, David Wax was up next. Once again taking listeners on a musical journey with his songs, David's set showcased his great use of interesting chord structures and his singing style, a little reminiscent of Elvis Costello but more rooted in American songwriting of the past. As always, he was a great addition to the night and we're glad to have him grace our stage so often. Next on stage was showcase newcomer Chloe Halpin. With some high energy strumming and high octane country tinged vocals, she immediately made her presence known to everyone present as a force to be reckoned with. Another master of dynamics, her music soared and swooped around, leaving us all a little breathless and happy for the experience. She's not local to Vegas, and it's a shame because we won't get to see more of her in the near future. Finishing things off was Peter Breen, joined by Room 6 alumni Cindy Fan, helping out on guitar. We know Peter is the drummer for Showcase alumni Masters of Resonance, but just like Dave Grohl from the Foo Fighters, he's stepping up to the mic and uh, strapping on the guitar to share his other musical side. Channeling his inner Pink Floyd, he and Cindy introduced a little psychedelic classic rock energy to the night, which sent everyone home in a good mood. Overall, the latest installment of the 18 Bin Songwriter Showcase hosted by Hal Savar went great. I sincerely can't wait for the next one on Thursday, May 16th, and I hope we'll see you there at 6.30 p.m. If you can't make it in person, hop on the live stream. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope that we'll see you at 18 Bin on, uh, what is it, Thursday, May 16th? <laughs> if not, we'll be there May 17th as well for Friday for their bike night. So it's two nights in a row at 18 Bin. If you can't make it, jump on the live stream. Other than that, if you want to see more videos like this, please click up here. If you'd like to subscribe, click over there and ring the bell. And if you want to hear my own music, click over there. Remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time on Room 6.